dispute. Um, yeah, I feel like as guys, right, you need to understand, especially if it's someone that's like, like clearly is attractive. Like, you are not the only man messaging this lady in her DMs. One, I'm not saying you can't message people in their DMs, be confident. Even um, like I was mentioning about um, a Haley and Sterling record, like he uh, Haley says in their podcast that Sterling and it was funny because he messaged he DM'd on Twitter, but it wasn't like a no, nah, but it wasn't like a oh like oh no, but please. I've never heard that before. Sorry, so, yeah. <laughs> that's a new one. Yeah, um, that is what I call originality. Yeah, he DM'd on Twitter and it wasn't even like oh like hey babe you look funny. Like, he was just like oh uh, yeah, no, I really. Please. If you're calling me babes right off the bat, I'm never going to be your babes. Please, babe. please. Don't use have nicknames when there's no there's no relationship to base those like, nicknames on. Ha, like, have some respect for me. Please. Mm. Come on. Honestly, I'm mad. Like, just, just, you know, <laughs> just start off with that, hey, um, you know, I've seen your pictures. Mm. I, think, I think you're good looking. And, you know, I'm sorry that this is weird or, or mm. whatever. But... I would like to get to know you. Mm. Leave the ball in her court. 100%. Okay. And also, okay, unsolicited pictures. Oh, my days. We will get into it next week, but don't, yes, don't, don't, please. next episode, sorry, but don't even. Please. Don't even. Please, uh, okay. We don't do that here. Please. We are adults. Please. <laughs> and, <laughs> I will call 999. Please. <laughs> or at least, you know, it's not an emergency, but mm. I'll still call 101. <laughs> Please, people. Uh, it's it's yeah. Let's not. Yeah. Let's not do that now. Um, but yeah, with Sterling, he he actually was talking about Haley's um, like professional career. So she'd been like speaking at stuff. And See, that's nice. That's exactly. a nice way to. Oh, I recognise what you're doing. And, he, and, and, and that's a win. Yeah. yeah. Um, and even sorry, I, like because when I said professional, it reminded me. Like, please. Um, I have not heard of this done since this news story came out. But there was someone who. <laughs> Like was essentially was trying to like do use LinkedIn for like like yeah. a dating app. Oh yeah. And I'm like LinkedIn's dating for professionals. No, please, people, <laughs> like please, like I'm just you can get to meet the person first. But no, it, but it's like it's it's like your Bumble job interview. Yeah, like please. Yeah, like, LinkedIn's a place. No, right? <laughs> like let's 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 just remember what we're here for. Uh, we're just trying to build a professional network, and if you get to know the person, you can get to know, get their number, get their Instagram, get whatever. But please, don't be trying to set set up dates yeah. and like trying to move. Like you can just say I like like what Sterling said. You because even with Sterling, he was saying that. Um, so he messaged Haley, I think, in 2016, 2017. Mm. Um, they didn't start dating till 2020. Okay, so I hadn't um, dated for a while. Yeah, and what was interesting nice. is he he went... So I think before they even... So now they're both married. Even before... So they were in... Between sort of them, that first message, and then now being married, they mm. both were in different relationships. Yeah. Um, and I think, like he was saying, it wasn't like he he... And I, yeah, again, it wasn't intentional. Yeah, it was. He literally was just like, "Oh, like I like her, but like I don't want to be like, oh, like I think you're like really like please." So if you're gonna mess with someone and you know, especially like they're do like they're doing like something like this is here's a tip. Just talk about that. Just be like, "Oh, like I see you're a speaker. Or, oh, like you you've got like this like you're you've got like a creative page." Again, yeah. please. Um, or hope- like people share a lot on their stories exactly. as well, and like will go more in depth mm. but you know people share a lot they share their hobbies mm. what they like doing where they're at where they've got like you know what a lot of people share what their plans are stop sharing your plans before they're executed <laughs> right um but yeah people do share that a lot so actually look at oh hey i've seen that you know y- you've you've started crocheting mm. it's just something that i do but like, oh, I've seen that you know you're crocheting a lot. Like, what are you making? Mm. You know, like I'm mm. like, like you use something else other than I'm pretty. I know I'm pretty. Please, That's why I posted please, those people. photos on Instagram. Please, people. Like. <laughs> Let's just start finding the words. We're poets. Mm. We're poets out mm. here. Does not necessarily Tinder poets. Mm. <laughs> just you know. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah. I think one one like I, I, yeah. I, like I said, I don't remember the track record of like what well, yeah we, we've talked about a lot but I think one thing I definitely want to talk about this episode and probably dedicate an episode to it mm-hmm. if we haven't already is um the the idea of like 
the idea of approaching relationships from either like the friend point because I think it's very relevant to the dating thing getting out of the friend zone so, yeah, so oh. even so like being so there, so I had a discussion with a friend of mine and we were just we were talking about um, like just dating and he's in a relationship he's used dating apps um, and I'm like I'm currently single I've been single for some time and I'm like so we were just talking about yeah I'm just like yeah. <laughs> um, I have two, I'm not judging him, I swear. <laughs> I have, I've been single for a while as well. But you know I'm what, like, 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 like um, my friend, uh, like, well, literally, uh, yeah, it's my, my last day at Brunel, we're recording, it's today. Um, but yeah, I had a leave yesterday, and one of my colleagues was just like, uh, to someone there, he was just like, oh, he was talking about that he, he left a relationship, and he was like, you know, one thing, it's probably you're happy about, is that your bank account is... A lot. Oh my god, the bank account the bank conversation. Account, you're just like, yes. um, yeah. How no, much but it, it is. is so true. Yeah. Um, you know what I mean? I, I, I don't pay. I don't have to pay to go on. Like, I'm not paying someone. Like already, I, like I've got a family full of five people that I'm getting birthdays, Christmas, Father's Day, Mother's Day, like any big celebration, like already all of that yeah. and on top of that you've got friends family like yeah. so so to have someone that i'm consider like i'm not saying i can't do that like obviously i can but i'm grateful that i've been able to at least have some money for for my own personal things and not have to worry about someone else um but yeah i think my thing so yeah so we were talking about um to me and this when we were talking about it and we were just saying that when it comes to relationships he was saying I don't know if it, all of his relationships, but at least the last two that he's been in, he's all, like, he met them on, I don't remember if he met them both on dating apps, but he approached it from, like, I'm dating them. So, even though they like, they went on dates and they, like, were friendly and built, like, he, he, he does it like that. Me, on the other hand, I'm like, I, I just want to get to know you first. I want to know, like, what your interests are. And I'm saying, like, I'm, again, that might be the old school man in me, but I'm like, oh, I want to, like, see how like I want to get to know you first personally and then be like because sometimes I do feel like whether it's like people are just out of relationships people haven't been in relationships mm. people are surrounded by people in relationships and want to get into a relationship like sometimes you'll just be like okay like the next thing is just what I want like oh this person's like they're single I'm single let's make a relationship like it's 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 one of those things and I just feel like for me um that's one of the reasons why I want to do it because I'm just like yes and I feel like especially when it comes to like dates and stuff um like you everyone like puts on their best selves and stuff but yeah. one of the things that's about relationship is and even like again I, I keep plugging their podcast please do check out a new record yeah. but um one of the things that they mention and one of the things I think is definitely true is that when it comes to relationship you're slowly like building up your book sorry taking down your barriers so like yeah I think even, like, we, we were talking about it then, because I was just like to him, one of the things that I feel like people don't really realise in a relationship, like, when it comes to relationships, is that, like, when you start to date someone, obviously, like, like, for example, I, like I said, I've got two sisters, so I know how much, like, if they're going to a party, and they're not necessarily going to, like, you know, I'm looking to get a man or whatever, like, they're just looking to look nice. I'm like, I see how much effort they put in to just look nice, and, like, they're happy mm -hmm. with the way they look for them to go to the party. I'm like as a guy, like and most no, I'm spraying perfume, I'm wearing a nice outfit, I'm like like some jewellery, stuff like that. I'm not worried about makeup. I might get a nice haircut. I might get like a nice fit. Like that that's that's it. I'm like girls go through the most. Mm -hmm. And then the relate as the relationship progresses, um both and I know not even just about like the way people dress and the way they look, but also like with how, how much you share. share you break down those barriers and you're just like okay you know what I'm now going to tell this person a bit more about mm. me we're going to do like we're going to speak about things actually you lot appreciate how much we're sharing yeah honestly, <laughs> honestly like it's <laughs> yeah, appreciate it um, but yeah I feel like that's so I think for me that's the only reason why I like going through the friend like there, it, there is that double edged sword of the friend zone is also clearly likely because you're approaching people as a friend first mm. so for pe for some people, it might be hard for them to even realize, like, oh, like this person, um, like this person, see, like I don't see this person other than a friend. But I feel like for me, may and I'm, maybe that's just me with my lovely insecurities. But <laughs> it might, I feel like it might just be a case of sometimes it's it's nice to sort of like get to that, like you already know the person and you know like 
you know about them, you know they're interested in, you know what they like, what they don't like, and stuff like that. Whereas with someone, if you just approach them for dating, sometimes I just feel like you're both not really getting to be your true selves. Yeah. Um, and you're just like, oh yeah, I'm like, it's cool, like, quite, um, again, like, my friend spoke about it with a friend, and like, we, and I said, like, I get where he's coming from, you got where I was coming from, and we both didn't, like, walk away from the conversation, like, ah, you're wrong, I'm right, I'm right, you're wrong, but we were just like, it also depends on the type of person you are, like, mm -hmm. he is very, like, even, like, my family and men, they've said, like, he's, he's that person that, like, anyone in the room, he could talk to, like, he, he could have a conversation, he could chat with, the whole, like, Funny thing is he could talk to a wall if he wanted to and the wall could respond back. Um, but like... <laughs> that, that, what a phrase. Yeah. <laughs> um, but he, so even, but I was just like, for me, I, I think originally, especially when I was a lot younger, I started off like that. And obviously, secondary school for everyone is a unique and eye-opening experience. Mm. Um, so for me, I was just like, now, even like when I like go to like go to a new workplace or I'm in a new environment I'm like okay cool people can get to know me over time they can find out more about what I do my personality what I'm interested in stuff like that over time but to start off with I'm like cool we're, we're like I'm keeping me to me so I feel like yeah the long yeah that long route of just going around there was basically to ask what do you feel about it Jess like because yeah, I, I feel like it's very dependent on like who you are as a person and what you feel comfortable with like speaking to people. But I just feel like, especially if I go to like an event or like, um, like go to a party or whatever, and I'm like, I mean, there are generally some people who just like, imagine you go to a friend's party and just like, if person invited you, you're just like, I'm there to hook up. But anyways, I imagine not even like with people, anyways, that's a whole thing. But um, yeah, I wanted to know what your opinion is because yeah, I feel like there when I like if I was to go around and say like I don't know my friend's got a birthday party tomorrow and I'm gonna go to that birthday party and say oh actually you know um, like I'm gonna oh, there's a, I'm gonna move to like if I see someone good looking I'm gonna move to them and take, like I feel like one that's very like quick and also no. take, you know no I actually yeah. go I, if you oh god. I'm gonna I'm gonna tread lightly here. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna tread lightly because I don't I don't wanna send you lot into the world and start moving mad. Please, please, um, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> and if you are gonna move mad, just don't, don't, don't blame associate us. With us. You don't know us. Don't blame please. us, please. Um no, if you if you went to if you said to, if we if we were going to a party mm. and you said, Alright, I see that girl over there, I think she's good looking, I'm gonna mm. go over. I would probably tell you approach with caution because mm. obviously she might not want to be approached to. Mm. But if you're gonna approach her at a party, not gonna lie, like I don't know how your parents met. My parents met at a party. <laughs> <laughs> like it, it, like back in the day, mm. getting approached at a bar or at a party or on a night out mm. was the thing. Mm. These online, things um, didn't. Happen. You couldn't use that. Mm. Like. You know, and you had to take down a number. Hmm. You had to call the house phone mm. and landline. Yeah. <laughs> land okay. And you had to, God forbid, whoever picked up, you had to ask for them. Mm. Like, you know, mm. you, had, you had to ask. Mm. Like, <laughs> you know. Honestly. That, that's, that's, what you, that's what you had to do. So, like, like how I said that when I got approached at um, Wireless. Wireless, yeah. I, I actually did not any of those I didn't blame them mm. I actually did not blame them unlike me you took your opportunity mm. <laughs> you know sure. like you, you took your opportunity so I wouldn't actually blame you mm. and I wouldn't I, I wouldn't I wouldn't actually like discourage it mm. I would just say obviously approach with caution mm. because if you then ended up approaching someone like me mm. who obviously at wireless I was very much like okay, I'm on my own right now all right, so yeah, no, <laughs> no. Um, then you might mm. obviously you're you're going over there with you know you might get a Snapchat, you might also mm. get shot down. Mm. Like um, obviously it's August. Um, wireless was in July. In June, I went to Park Life. Mm. I went to Manchester on my own. Um, Again, I don't know why. Don't ask me why I keep doing these things on my own. 
Okay, I just do. Because <laughs> you're probably sat there going, again? Like, does, she, does she have friends? I have friends. She has friends. Okay, I do. Um, <laughs> just the type of music I like, they don't like. Um, so yeah, I went, went to Park Life. I'm in Manchester. I'm on my own. Park Life. Love you guys. They were good to me, okay? Because mm. I was only going to be there on Saturday. Ended up winning tickets for the Sunday. Oh, nice. So I had no place to stay. Um, oh, yes. And I, I was running on pure vibes. I was running <laughs> on vibes. Um, went, uh, ended up going to a friend's birthday in Liverpool. So that's how I ended up going from Saturday and mm. Sunday. No, I did not sleep. Do not do that to yourself oh, unless yeah. you know you are fully capable of doing oh. that to yourself. A bit of side advice outside of dating. Um, yeah, don't run 44 hours without sleep unless mm. you know that you are capable of that. Um, and I met, I met someone there. Mm. Um, he's never going to see this because I don't have him on um, Instagram. But he is on my Instagram. If you would like to look at the highlights and see this guy's <laughs> face, you can. <laughs> <laughs> you can. <laughs> Um, I'm not even gonna hide it because I know someone's gonna go on my Instagram and go. <laughs> so this is when you get part life. Are you talking about this guy? <laughs> yes, yes, I am. Um, leave me alone. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna say it now. If you wanna go looking for it, it's there. It's there. Um, but yeah. Um, sat on the bean bag. Everybody wants the bean bag, so, mm. so you know I had to protect it. <laughs> I had to protect my bean bag. I wanted the drink, so I asked him and his mates, "Oi, can you?" Hold on to this for me, don't let nobody sit down, mm. please. Mm. Um, him and his friends had just come from oh, I can't remember I can't remember what set it was, sorry. Mm. Um and so he was like, yeah, plonked his two feet on it um. and I went away. I think he was the only one in the group who heard me because he was the only one who responded. Um. And when I got back from getting my drink, his mate went Oi, she's back, get your feet off of it. And I was like, it's fine, it's fine. Mm. Like, I told him to, <laughs> like, yeah. you know, and whatever. And his friends were going to go watch, um, again, I can't remember what they were going to go watch. <laughs> um, and he was like, do you know what, I'm just going to say, I'm going to relax. It, it, was, it was already about three in the afternoon. Um, and if you know festivals, mm. it's a lot of walking, you get a lot of steps in. I think over the weekend alone, I got about 50,000 steps in. Um, like, yeah, like it, it, it's a lot. So you want to sit down mm. when you get your opportunity, especially when you get a bean bag. <laughs> um, and the, the park life bean bags are massive. So mm. you can have about two or three people on one. So I was like, oh, mate, share my bean bag with me. And we're just chatting and I'm mm. telling him I'm from London telling him what I do, um, like, we're just, we're just talking, 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 you know, we're just shooting the breeze. Mm. Um, and it starts raining. <laughs> no. No, no. It starts raining. <laughs> and um, we had two pillows, so we just went, <laughs> don't ask me why we didn't just get yeah. up. A- and try and find shelter. No, we went, oh yeah, the pillars will do it. <laughs> oh, I don't believe in love at first sight, but let me tell you, I was his for the rest of the day. <laughs> I was his for the rest of the day. And he did not approach me mm. with any intentions mm. of getting to know me, any intentions of getting close to me. Mm. And no, like, mm. he, he was just tired. He just wanted to sit on the bean bag and I just wanted to because I had done the whole day I had my Saturday was travelling up to Park Life spending the whole day at Park Life then going to Liverpool if anybody's ever done a night out in Liverpool okay again I love my friend whose birthday it was but hun I could a girl needed a warning because <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a different world up there uh, it's a different world up there um, you know, not everyone's not acting so mm. you know stush, but we'll talk about that again. That because that is actually related to dating. Mm. Um, so we will we'll run we'll back, run to, back to, to my night out in Liverpool <laughs> um, <laughs> on another episode, um, and then obviously travelled back to Manchester mm. and went again to Park Life. Mm. Like and no sleep, like bus yeah. <laughs> club, oh. another club, another club, oh. train, next oh. place. No sleep 
44 hours mm. like it, it was it was it was literally one of those weekends um so i just wanted to sit down as mm. well mm. we just wanted to chill because mm. it had already because him and his friends were also at park life on mm. saturday we just never we just never crossed paths mm. um his friend thinks he saw me because i had purple hair at the time so his friend <laughs> thinks he saw me but obviously you weren't just you were just noticing people exactly. you weren't actually gonna approach had no reason to approach um and yeah no got each other's numbers um we don't talk now tears um because he was a really lovely guy mm. um but yeah no like he he was very much like oh if i ended up talking to someone like obviously i end up talking to you i'm not going to mm, shut it down sure. but also if you weren't giving me that vibe back mm. i wouldn't have i wouldn't mm. have played do you know what yeah. I mean? he, he was just very much like it was literally just because and yes i hate rom-coms but i'm about to say this was a scene out of a flipping rom-com <laughs> out of rom-com it was raining and we had the pillars over mm. our heads and well, our heads were just next to each other like that and it was just like oh my god i want to kiss him <laughs> <laughs> i want to kiss him <laughs> i don't know this man but <laughs> it feels right <laughs> but it was only because we had been also park life were selling these things called um boozy lollies so oh, we did have a little bit to drink oh, through these very oh, high yeah, concentrated <laughs> um, so you know sadly like most things with young adults, alcohol did play a part in this. Um, not condoning drinking without moderation. Mm. Um, your girl was not drunk. She just, you know, she liked the lollies. Mm. Um, but yeah, like, because we had just been sat there chatting, mm. I think for about like two hours, it just, you know? Mm. But yeah, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't blame you if you went to a party, let Let's say it, it, it was it was a house party, so, mm. you know, everybody's in the living room, maybe spilled out into the hallway, mm. but all the drinks are in the kitchen. So you go into the kitchen, you're grabbing yourself, I don't know what you drink, grabbing yourself a beer, mm. and you're looking around for the for the opener somebody's moved in, because mm. it always happens. And, you know, you girl standing in the corner, and, mm. you know, she's, she's, you know, she knows where the, where it's been moved to, so she hands it to you. You get chatting, and you know the kitchen's a bit of a quieter place mm. than the ruckus that's going on outside. Mm. So you know you keep chatting, and you have moments where you're getting interrupted. Someone's coming in for a drink. Someone's coming in for water. Blah, blah, mm. blah. But you still keep chatting anyway. Mm. Why not? Mm. Mm. You know, it might. You know, with with me, it might turn. It might turn around. Oh yeah, no, I, I don't have a boyfriend. Mm. Yeah, no, oh. I'm. I'm yeah. yeah, and she's giving you your vibes, and you're just you're mm. going off of that. Mm. Or God forbid, you know her her boyfriend walks in, babe, babe, I'm trying to you. <laughs> Step back, exactly. Step back, and keep it friendly. Mm-hmm. Right, two 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 things I got to mention based off what you said. One, immediately, but like, please, as a as a guy, or even because I know some girls do it, mm. please do not out like. If sometimes guys or girls just want to chat to you. So yeah. please do not do not just come uh, like either assuming, approach it friendly. Thank you. Do not come with the energy of excuse me, miss. Do you have a man? Or excuse me, excuse me, sir. Do you <laughs> like please, please. My the interaction that I hate the most. Excuse me, miss. Do you have a man? Yes. Oh, do you not want any friends? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I answered your question. Please, please, man, please. <laughs> Do you know what? Actually, no. My man doesn't let me have friends. <laughs> what? Like, like, please, or do you know what? Please. My friends are educated, so they wouldn't ask me such a silly <laughs> question. <laughs> like, like, come, uh, come on now. It's, it's, come on. It's, I'm, like, like, I'm just like I don't. Because to me, I'm like like we said, like just getting to speak to people at a party, and like I said, letting it naturally yeah. occur in the conversation. Yeah. Perfectly fine. But please, like, you don't, like, like, it's, <laughs> like I, get, I get it. No one, and everyone says it, they're just like, oh, like, I'll ask right off the bat because I don't waste, I don't waste your time, I don't waste my time. And I think even though... No, but also, it then ruins it. It ruins because everything. actually, I might have spoken to you if you approached me differently. I'm... Actually, example. Yes. This happened at Wireless. Hmm. So I was talking to this one guy and he had his arm around me because he was, it was, it was loud. Hmm. 
Um, so he had his arm around me, he was, he was talking to me, and we were talking for a while. But he was very respectful, mm. very nice. He, he wanted to go see... Uh, wow, I really can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me what I do at these festivals, all right? <laughs> Don't ask me what I do at these festivals because I clearly can't remember. Have a good thing. time. That's, like, that's, that's a- it. Ask me who played. I have to know. <laughs> he went to go see somebody. Hmm. So he left. And this other, this other guy comes, comes around. Oh, so um, where's your phone? I thought I was getting robbed. Damn. I thought I was getting Damn. robbed. <laughs> <laughs> I went, I went um, in my bag. Like, no, full well, I just stuffed it down my skirt. Um, <laughs> because there was no way you were getting it. Mm. I was be without a fight. Mm. Um, in my bag. Oh, well, um, you know. And I'm like, you, and I interrupted. I was like, you know what? And he went, man's trying to, you know, give you a Snapchat. Oh, no. Oh, good. <laughs> no, no, because no, Jeffrey. <laughs> My face went. <laughs> my face dropped, and I went. Who said I have Snapchat? <laughs> Who said I even wanted to talk to you? And you know when girls uh, they start speeding up <laughs> and they get angry. And I went, is that even how you approach a girl? So mm. that's how you talk to a girl. Mm. Who said I even wanted to talk to you? Mm. Who said I wasn't a lesbian? Mm. Like, uh, see what like that's right. not how you approach a girl. Is that how you approach a girl? So if you have a daughter. <laughs> And, oh, I went in. Is it, is oh, he thought I was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he thought I was crazy. He was not interested. <laughs> that interest went. Whoosh, <laughs> gone. But yeah, no. Do not approach a girl like you are going to rob her. Please, uh, I'm, you know, I've, never, I've never heard of that though. But the thing is, even the ones that I have, it's like always like, and it's clearly like. Instagram as a whole, just because sometimes you might watch the occasional trashy stuff, it just recommends it to you. But like what you're saying about like all these TV interviews where like whether it's mainly guys that do it, but like a guy will try and chat to a person and like like what you said, like the like I don't know, like the girl will just be like, oh like like oh like, like there's so there's so many. But like one example of the girl might be like, oh um like you said like oh uh, uh, have you got a girlfriend? Uh, I do. Ah, you're looking for any friends. You know what? I'm oh, good. I've got more than enough friends. Oh, but you know, like, I'm just... And I feel like, please, if you ask about the boyfriend or girlfriend question, then don't turn around and be like, I'm when, just here yeah. to look for friends. When yeah. you get the answer that you don't then want. you don't want. Look, man, just... Like, like, I think there was a... I don't remember. There was a comedian that... Um, like, not as a comedy sketch. He was literally just doing interviews on dating. And they were just like... Also, if you're looking for a funny one that, about dating, um, Kyra Gray is a funny one. She's got a funny sketch and she does it. <laughs> and I'll include a link, uh, yeah, in the description and it'll appear. Um, but yeah, I feel like with... Uh, he, was, he was saying that, oh, no, like, people just need to think about... I think he said, like, his line is, like, he's just like, oh, like, I'm sorry to bother you, but, like, um, I saw you and I think you're really good looking, like... I'd love to get to know you more. Like, if you've got a, if you've got a uh, girlfriend, like, um, sorry, no, backtrack. If you've got a boyfriend, then, like, Fair. it's cool, man. Like, it was really great even just speaking to you. Like, I wish you a pleasant day. Um, yeah, I think it was, it was... I feel like if a guy approached me like that, I'd actually turn around and I'd be like, oh, I, you know, mm. I'm interested, I'll continue conversation. Or if I'm not interested, I'd be like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm not interested. Not, but, but, like, thank, thank you. you. Like, mm. you've still left my day feeling mm. really good. Yeah. Like, tell me, I'd be sweet about it, but like with Mr. I Wanna Rob You, I will I will give you the same level of crazy energy back that you give me. I was just like, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, what, you heard your phone? I've never heard of that. Yeah, I know, I don't, I don't know where he, <laughs> I don't know where he pulled it from, but it actually scared me for like two seconds because I was like, there is no way. And, this is a new phone, okay? So I'm fresh, I've, had, I've had it for about, oh God, I feel like four months now, mm. given that it's August. I've had mm. it for about four months now. I'm not getting this phone, Rob. Exactly. You're not taking it. <laughs> no. And, like, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a big girl now, so I'm paying for my contract and all that stuff mm. as well. So I'm not paying for a contract for a phone that gets robbed. <laughs> no. But it's honestly, like, it's just like that. I'm, like, I yeah. don't know. And I'm, I'm generally interested because I'd love to know how many times that works. Because no, no. I, I, I think my mum actually said that when I told her the story when I got home. Mm. Um, 
she genuinely said that he couldn't have genuinely believed that wasn't the word. Like, you, like, come on. No. Because <laughs> even, like, you know, at a party or something, I might be like, it's weird, but you might play it off as it's, it's a bit... But nah, that's, I don't... I actually uh, don't think... It, no. But no. at a festival... I, I don't know. <laughs> but, like, I, I just feel like at a festival, though, like, there's, there, there's already... People get robbed at festivals, period, anyway. <laughs> to then just stand around someone and be like, just give me a phone. And expect <laughs> them to be like, yes. I, yes, I see you. And I'm gonna give you my snap or my number or whatever, and that's and yeah. and actually I think yeah. That, so linking it back to what I was saying before, there was someone who there was a test that was done, and this girl basically this, this like like I said, trashy rubbish, YouTube rubbish. But and with you, uh, Instagram reels and YouTube shorts, it's just yeah more and more. But the, this person did an experiment where they were just like, oh, if a girl walks up to a guy and just literally just like says nothing, just like looks at like. Oh, gives her a phone. Gives her a phone. I've seen yeah, that. Yeah, and that's I, just weird. And I was Boys, just like, do not put your please, phone to like, you. no matter how track, like, come on, pe- people, don't. people get in trouble for less, please. <laughs> no, but do, do you know what it is? Okay, like, don't want, don't put your number in because you're not that easy. Mm, okay, that's true. We all have standards. Mm. Okay, we all have requirements, mm-hmm. and. A girl going. Right. Like, you're nah. not that easy. You are not. Okay? She if she wants to get you, she needs to put in the mm, same work, the work that you're gonna put mm. in to get her. Mm. Okay? Nah. No. You, I'm say, I'm saying it's for the girls as well. You're not that easy. <laughs> Nobody mm. is that easy to obtain. Okay, mm. we are not objects, we are not purchasable in a 100%. store. Okay? Your number is not that easy. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. I've seen that video mm. and I hate that video. I'm just like... Because you cannot have such little self-respect that mm. you would just go, oh yeah, I'll give her my number. And also, I'm, I'm like, look, in all honesty, if she, like, I look, I understand as a guy, anyone would be gassed if like... Oh, yeah, no, of but course. Please. I, res- I respect it, of course. However... But please... Come on, because uh, look, look, if Come she's doing now. it to you, like prank experiment or no experiment, if she's doing it to you with <laughs> absolute confidence, like trust me, brother or, or brother or sister, <laughs> this person, you are not the only person. This person is doing it to you, right? Because like you, you like look, come on, you can't realistically think that out of the whole like day or like let's they've think, only done they've that to only you. done that to you. Like come on, come on, like. Like we all like we all we all experience favor and grace and like luck, but like, come like, on. Like it feels good, yes. But still, come on. There's a, there's a sense of realism that, that needs to be there. Like but, you you are that special mm, to your mum and your dad. Hundred percent. <laughs> but please, like, no, no. Nah. Um, but yeah, the, the last thing I think I definitely want to touch on um, and when we can wrap it up because yeah we've been talking for a while. Yeah, so they, they, <laughs> it's, it's gonna be a long introduction. Yeah, but it'll give, it'll tell you guys. All, of the, All stuff. Of the stuff you need to know. Dating, if it links, mm. we're gonna talk about it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Yeah, I think one, one, one key final message to add. I think it's sort of taking it back to when you're talking about your parents. Um, I think because I personally, I think we even discussed this either in that episode or another episode. Um, the idea of like dating, uh, no approaching people, sorry, at like a club or at like. Oh yeah, club versus like a party or something. Mm. To me personally, party setting is where I'm at. I could, you know, yeah. it's like chill. It's more relaxed. It's a, it's a relaxed. Like everyone's just like having a good time. Everyone's like, like to me personally, I love like party setting. Easy at a club, and I'm also just like you got to bear in mind like at a club like. The music's blaring. Everyone's jumping around. Most you don't know how many shots of tequila she's had. Thank. Oh, jeez, man. Like, ah, oh, the story. The, the like, we'll, oh. we'll dive into some story. No, not me personally. Thank God, not me. Oh, okay. But like friends of like, like, jeez, man. Like the amount of like, like friends that I've seen. Like even or have said like, oh, this person she went on a night out. Um, like she got super drunk, she was wasted, lips in like every man, like, you know, man comes over. See, and, uh, I can at least guarantee that the mo- if you're gonna hit if you're gonna hit me up at the club and you're gonna try and get me just know 
You're stuck with me. <laughs> you're stuck with me for the evening. Honestly, because I'm not trying to get to know John and leave with David. You see what I mean? I'm sorry. Oh. I'm not. You've now given me your attention. Mm. Sorry. But it's, it's like you shouldn't have done that if you didn't. <laughs> if you didn't want me to stick around, you know, like yeah. this isn't fun and games. For adults. Exactly. Um, and yeah, I just feel like, to me personally, like like I said, and yeah, we, we will probably talk about it later, but like yeah. this whole idea of like, just like, because yeah, the, hook, the hookup culture, let, let's just go to that. Ooh. Like, to me, I feel like it's, yeah, yeah. I won't go into too much, but it's, personally, it's like a hot mess. And I think yes. a nice way to end it um, was, I saw this. You um, are above that. You are above, <laughs> yeah. You are, you are above, you are above that. that. Like, honestly, like, I know, and even I sort of agree, because, um, uh, again, like I said, they're, like, their they're podcast, it's on pause, and I'm like, they're also doing loads, so I'm not upset that they're doing loads, Hayley and Sterling, if you watch this and see this, I'm happy, and um, yeah, this, we thank God for your success, um, but honestly, um, that podcast is amazing, because they do talk about like their dating experience, they bring people on, they talk about like what it was like growing up for them, and like they mentioned, there aren't a lot of podcasts that do that, and because also they're both Christians, they talk about how their faith has influenced their okay. dating experience. Um, but one thing that they both mention is this whole idea of like one true love. And I think if it's not one of the things there, I think it's definitely something to touch on. Um, no, we, we will talk about, we will definitely talk about A hundred percent. Because yeah. they were just like, they, and I get whether, and I agree, like before, like I said, I brought a wrong comment, so I'm like, oh, the fool, just like, one true love. I feel love. like we're going to be super different oh, for, yeah. the rest of the <laughs> series, for the rest of this series. It's like, I hate wrong comments. Yes. So I'm going to talk about how they failed you. <laughs> <laughs> and Jeffrey's going to talk about how we should somewhat believe in no, love. No, 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 like, believe in love. But I also do agree, even like, what, like my, even my sister, like we were talking about to this day, like, we just say like, wrong comments to just give you the big, and especially I feel yeah. like, and like I was saying before about like, where you learn about like, dating, and how to date, like whether it's through reality TV show, whether it's uh, through TV, please whether it's through like rom- TV please, shows. please, of all types of TV shows, please do not learn from reality TV shows. I, uh, you know, there's some people we can believe in, mm. but most of it, mm. they're gonna break up in a couple of months. It's called Love Island, but literally, like my sister said, how many people on Love Island have left and stayed in love? I can't lie. To- <laughs> I can't lie though, my mum's giving me an ultimatum. <laughs> Alright? It's either I go to the club with her or I start applying for love. love. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, if anybody wants to help me out and you know my Tinder is there. <laughs> if you if you <laughs> Cause both of those options Yeah, oh gosh man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's a, it's, it's both, both, of the, both of those options I, I don't know because you know I will want to return to Brunel if I ever did Love Island uh, and I know full uh, well what? nobody on this campus <laughs> will let me live it down and, and even to add to that I, so I spoke uh, I spoke to some friends who graduated because I think it was Oh, is it 20? Is we it actually like, have a Bruno yeah. graduate who went yeah. to... And they posted about... Not the union. The <laughs> university posted it on the Instagram page. I just deep that. Yeah, yeah, we actually had a graduate who went on to... Oh, my God. And when I saw it, I told my sister, like... Because I saw it, I was like, oh, it's maybe the student union because it's, you know, it's like... And I was like... <laughs> Like, like, please, people of the union, don't think that I think that I'm underrating the work. No, like, I love you guys. Um, but no, generally, I was just like, oh, like, I get it's yeah. more, it's more like student friendly than like a professional face yeah, but when I saw it and I was like so are we now saying like we're using Love Island to market Brunel yes <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah no I love this university this university has been my whole world for mm. almost going on six years now mm. okay and what we're not going to do is, is what we're not going to do is Please. lose me <laughs> because <laughs> I went on to Love Island and now you you students Running oh up and down God. here, oh all right. <laughs> my office is an open door. <laughs> I'll never be able to come back, and I love this place too. Much. And you're know too. I bet you. I love this place too much. I bet you the, in the in locos, like on the big screen, <gasps> they'll they'll just be they'll be like. Oh my hey, God, look. They, 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 they show it. They like, watch, watch, watch Marty. Yeah, watch Marty. Just come, just come. Oh, uh, wait, which I'm we have <laughs> Just to plug loads of loads. We have Sky, so we can actually do that. So, if any other Bruno people want to go for it, 
Spirit, anyone yeah. that's not, we will support you. We watch, watch, watch. These, these lot sign me up. For <laughs> me. Just, just, just to sit and laugh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, but yeah, I think that yeah, but yeah, bring it back. Yeah, you are more than hookup culture and yes. just like dating for dating sake. Like, don't whether you've been in a relationship and you feel like you're missing out, whether you've never been in a relationship, like it's been a long time since you've been in a relationship. Like, please don't rush into something or just join it like basically don't do something for just doing it safe yeah um but if you don't feel comfortable mm, don't do it. it i think i also mentioned that mm, in our no, previous no. episode like if it's not for you it's not for you mm. like if you're not a mess about and have fun type of person like i was that and now i'm not anymore mm. so you know things can change exactly. like you don't if that's not your vibe that's not your vibe like mm. i have a friend who He's a bit older than me, but he was a virgin till like twenty five. Like you know, if that if you don't want to do things, don't do don't things. Do things. Like I just yeah no. Mm. If they actually care about you and like want to get to know you, mm. they can wait on that. Mm. Sorry. No, it's the truth. It's the truth. And even like like I said again, you know, I might even have to dedicate an episode to Haley and Sterling because. Like they talk about that in the episode. I want to meet them. <laughs> Honestly, like they are in. Like, please, if you haven't watched the episode, uh, you know, a little plug. Uh, Haley's doing a speaker. If you're interested in public speaking, she's doing a speaker event, which she'll be at, and I'm pretty sure Sterling will be there as well. Um, but yeah, please do check it out. Um, because yeah, she like they both as a couple do like amazing work. They both talk about their experience, and funnily enough, I actually met both of them at a. So there's this com- uh, this organization called the Gen Z Club, and they do a lot of stuff on like for young people about like business and entrepreneurship. For Valentine's this year, they did like, how, what is dating like for a Gen Z, per- like uh, being a Gen Z person? Um, yeah, and, they, and like literally they had Sterling and Haley come in and talk about their experience of dating. And like, they like honestly, it was a great conversation to, to be a part of. Like the advice Sterling had towards guys really impacted me. I know the advice that Haley gave towards women and like the confidence they, like I said, I think the biggest thing that she said from that Taken away, like I'm not even a lady, but like the com- what she said there gave me the utmost confidence to to think about of when she said like just know that you shouldn't date someone so they can pay for the stuff you want like like no, money like please like okay. you you can like don't you are don't, priceless thank you don't you are priceless so you're priceless you, you you don't have a value exactly please. don't please. don't date someone just because they're gonna take you to like even she said like she was like I'm not gonna Come date a guy if if he's gonna he, take <laughs> if he can take you to Dubai, mm. you can probably take yourself. yourself please, please. Like, it's, it's, it's fine. Mm. Like, do you know what? Mm. Using that example, your girl took herself you to Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> I, took I, dro- I took my mama too. Exactly, like, exactly. Like, seriously, if you're waiting for a man to take you to Dubai, take yourself. Take yourself. And like, you know what? Ask mumsy if she wants to go as well. Mm. Like, please, don't, yeah, don't, like, don't, 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 do don't that. wait on, don't, don't wait, you know, if you want to go do your little flower bath mm. in Bali, go do it, do it. Like, why like, are you waiting for him, I'm, or even, why are you waiting for her, mm. you want to, you want, you want to do that, that kind of semi-romantic trip to the Maldives, mate, go, ahead. go by yourself, go by yourself, man, like, go by yourself, like, chill, mm. or go, go with one of your boys, do you know 100%. what, there's nothing wrong with, I don't, I don't, if done right, mm. I don't mind my hypothetical man mm. going on a lad's holiday. Mm. If you, go, if, if you right, guys, yeah. if he has a good set of, take one of my colleagues. I won't name names because actually they're both great guys. But take one of my colleagues. He's currently engaged. He's going to get married, and he's. In that he's in that time frame where all of his mates, it's looking like all of them are getting married. So he's oh. going on a but I think I think in the short time that I've already known him, he's already gone on like three stages. Oh. So, literally, it's like all, all of his friends mm. and himself are getting married, and he's done recently did like Portugal. Mm. Um, I think he did, I think he did somewhere in the UK and I can't remember I don't I, I, I don't know if there was a third one or if it's just two and I'm getting mm. mixed up but he definitely did one in Portugal him and the boys went down they had their fun they got drunk it was a mess but you know what they all came back with mm. girlfriends and fiancés mm. please, still intact please okay I wouldn't mind mm. my partner going on a lad's holiday but do it right mm. right let's not go and start creeping on girls. Mm. Right, and next thing you know, 
I'm calling you from the UK screaming down the phone because I find out from Snapchat. Okay. Oh my Iron Napa. Oh, All yeah, the yeah, videos yeah. from Iron Napa. <laughs> and anyone who is chronically on TikTok, like I am, you know exactly what I'm mm. talking about. All right, let's not get caught out because we ended up on someone's Snapchat. Please. Okay, Please. let's not get caught out because we went viral on TikTok eating food out of some next man's mouth. Yes. You know, you know, uh, yes. Oh, I know. <laughs> let's not now. If we're gonna <laughs> like, go, like go with oh your girls, gosh. go with the guys. Mm. You don't need to wait for me for us mm. to go to here, there, and whatever. Go mm. do it. Go do it. Mm. Go do it with your friends. Go do it with your family. I don't care. Mm. But let's not do it in such a way that when you come home, I never want to see you again. <laughs> That's the thing. That's the thing. Bye. Sorry. No, no, that's the truth. Honestly. <laughs> like, I, I, it, I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand why mm. people need to go and do that. But we will, you know what? We will touch we will on that again. again. Yes. We will touch um, on that again. Yes. We, yeah. This this is probably going to be longer than 15 episodes. But <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll have you along the way and we'll enjoy it. Season um, two. Yeah. <laughs> all, 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 already, already being exactly, commissioned. Already being commissioned. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think what was really interesting was there was this Instagram video uh, about this guy. Um, and he was talking about um, like people so he basically long story short bit of context he married his high school sweetheart um, at 19 and he said a lot of people say to like young people now like oh if you're especially like right off the bat if you're well he's in America so it's like high school but like if he, you're fresh out of school I beg you don't do it oh yeah also one well, like please don't like if you are fresh <laughs> out of compulsory compulsory topic, education compulsory education we were in university, we mm. chose to stay in education. Mm. Past that point, you're choosing. Okay, no one's forcing you to do it. If you're fresh out of compulsory education Please. and you have a ring on your finger, take it off. <laughs> Please. 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 <laughs> the things that I thought I knew mm. at 18, mm. Miss. Also, that as well. I got to uni. Who? Mm. Hit me differently. Mm. Hit me differently. Honestly. Life was different. <laughs> like, mm -mm. Mm. it was different. Mm. And we will also get into that because I feel like we need one for our coming to uni. Because mm. obviously we touched on it in the episode, but, but yes, I feel like we need one. We need fun. You freshers. Yes. Ah, yeah. And freshers week. Oh, freshers week. Freshers. Oh, what a wonderful Cause, week. Because <laughs> you, you lot. <laughs> Because ah, <laughs> when I was a master's student trying to tell you lot fresh out of sixth form mm. that I was 22, you weren't having it. So, yes, yes. It needs to stop. Please, 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 please. Or you poor girls when the little sharks, <laughs> the surges. Dude, the, 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 uh, Haven't seen you at the club before. How you doing? My, my <laughs> He knows you're a fresher. Like, and it's, it's, oh. He knows you're a fresher. We're going to do that episode. Yes. Just so we, we can drop we it. We can drop it. Uh, during freshers. During <laughs> We're going to schedule that one. We're going to have to shift the ones that need to come afterwards after down. Okay. And we're going to type it in. Yes. All right. And we're going to release that one. Just so we can drop during freshers week so you lot are prepared. Because mm. I'm not no, letting so another true. academic year go by when you little ducks are not prepared to. Honestly, I, I, I'm not doing it. No, no, no it's no, the truth. It's a setup because, yeah, like, <laughs> it's not yeah, fair. Even the yeah, the amount of stories that I I'm not even not because even um like in the previous episode that I did uh, with Tatiana and mm -hmm. I know that you know her, that she mentioned like I mentioned so she came to Brunel 16 like people yeah. way like 18 minimum yeah. and way older. <laughs> Try, like, try and chat to someone who's 16 and, you, and again there is context for why she's here at 16 uh, please check Obviously out the these schools yeah mm. but different the, schools in different countries operate oh, differently operate differently so that's your context if you don't want to watch the other episode watch it anyway but, <laughs> but yeah so she was just like like when I'm mean, like she was just like at university in general like just going to event like not even like necessarily like going out to the club like just literally you know society doing stuff going out with like that and I was just like damn like you, some and some people even anyway that's a whole thing yeah we will get into that but um but yeah the person was saying basically um if you essentially it was like if you know who like if you're with someone and you know this is the person you're going to be with for the rest of your life he was saying like a lot of people say especially for like young people now they're just like oh you gotta like 
get out there, like taste everything, like you know, it's like a shopping. Don't literally taste. Yeah, everything. please don't literally taste everything. Like it's not, it's not like cuisines. We're not Thank trying. You. To, we're not. It's not Pokemon. We're not trying to catch them all. Exactly. <laughs> like please, but generally though, there are some like. No, there are some people that operate some, that way. Like, I'm just, yeah. they're just like, oh, yeah, I'm, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. <laughs> <laughs> I I get my <laughs> so again. I love my work colleagues. I love you guys, okay? But I get bullied. <laughs> and I'll get bullied because your girl had no decorum. <laughs> no decorum. I, and I was playing it like it was like Pokemon Go. You remember when that happened during COVID and everyone was using it to go for walks? Okay. My game started like a number of years before that, okay? And it had to stop. <laughs> it had to stop. Right, and we will get into yes. that and you will learn little bits mm. about us yes. within reason yeah. <laughs> as the series goes yes. on. Um, but yeah, Honestly. and that's why I now say, don't do it. 100%. As someone who did, mm. don't. Mm. <laughs> and that's what, listen, did, <laughs> I'm not doing. Mm. Mm. And even like the person was saying like, he, he, like, he was just like, he knew that his high school sweetheart was the person he wanted to marry. Yeah. And he was like, everyone was, every, like, everyone says to young people like- but still wait anyway. Yeah. Like, still wait anyway, because you're going to change in your 20s. Mm, but he was just like, you know, don't feel like, and I feel like it's, this is probably like a really nice, like if you've got one takeaway from this episode, apart from like, love yourself and you're amazing. Um, always. Take, always. Uh, <laughs> take away this, that like you, don't have to like you don't have to like go and experience like everything like oh i haven't been in like a i haven't like i haven't been in a long time I've, relationship i haven't been in a long time relationship i haven't you know all, like all i've ever been in is a long time relationship so now so i much, need flings you like, don't please, need flings please. no one needs no one flings, needs flings. it's like oh, like please <laughs> i love that side That's my like, face is like it's like the amount like please the amount of like you don't people need that it. Okay, you don't need it like you need water. <laughs> Please, like, if you know that long to or like relationships specifically are for, are for you, please don't just feel like okay. my friends, you know, they're, they've decided to go into like relation, uh, not relationships, situationships, that's what I was thinking of. Um, we will or, talk about those. Yes, or, I understand they're painful. Or friends with benefits and the mother. Oh. Fun, never work. fun, fun, amazing thing we'll, we'll be talking about later. But yeah, the first one just like, just if you know what you're comfortable with, stay with that. And don't feel like yeah. just because others in your friendship group or even like not even in your friendship group, you're seeing people on social media and all this stuff like saying like, oh, I've been with like 50 or 30 people or like, I've sent with someone from, also I feel like that is genuinely not the, the achievement that people make it seem. Like yeah. I've slept with like everyone in, from the, like say, let's say from around Western Europe, I've slept with at least one girl or like I've been with one girl from the whole of Western Europe. I'm like, sick. Yeah, no. like you might not have traveled there, but congratulations, you, you've been with, but like, what did you accomplish? No, um, because, because once, and again, I'm getting very real, mm. they'll ask me the true number, okay? Mm. But once you get past a certain number, it's just depressing. It really is. Because then when you're trying to get to know people mm. and the question comes up mm. and you have to, because I'm not going to lie, mm. I'm not going to lie, um, you can see, mm. you can see it. Mm. And it's sad. Mm. It's yeah. really sad. It's depressing. Mm. Yeah, no, honestly, we will get into it because yeah. yeah, this, yeah, I think even from this episode, I mean, yeah, we pro- we, yeah, we'll see. We might have to do it in two parts because uh, yeah, this, this, this is looking yeah. like it could be. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna need like a natural split here yeah. of, of where of where we've of where we've we've done. You know, what, yeah. part one, part, part one, one teaser, teaser. Um, so yeah, we we will yeah, you will yeah, we'll probably do this in like two parts. But honestly, um, I think if there's any takeaway, just. Like we said, love yourself, you're amazing, um, and don't feel like you need to fit into like whatever society or like your friends are doing as well. If you want to be in a relationship, if you want to be single, if you yeah. want to be like taking it as it comes, like whatever happens, just go with that. Um, but yeah, we, we have come to the end of today's episode, um, Dating Diaries, Closing the Diary. Uh, so to speak, um, and yeah, we we will be, um, yeah, as I said, we're going to continue, there's going to be new episodes, uh, going to dive into dating as a whole, 
Um, yeah, the whole idea thing of like getting you guys to send in stuff was something that just popped up before. So hopefully by the time this episode's out, if not, I will announce it as a post on YouTube and all our social media stuff to submit stories. Even if you like, I don't, I don't, if you want to seriously be like, it'll be anonymous. If you want to be named, like you can put your name, but don't feel like you have to. Um, and yeah, we will discuss it. We might even say like, yeah, the, the brain, the content brain's thinking. Um, we might start off with your, your confessions and your stories. We might even start off with experience. Yeah, like I said, I've got a lot of them. Get me thinking. Um, but yeah, if you like this episode, like, comment, subscribe, always appreciated. If you're interested in um, finding out when the next episode of this or any of our other podcasts come out, just make sure you click the notification bell at the bottom of the video. And finally, if you want to support the podcast, um, there are two ways you can do that. You can either become a channel member and become a master of the mic um, through our YouTube channel membership, uh, and the link to that is in the description. Or if you're a bit more, uh, you know a bit more about Patreon and you feel more comfortable with Patreon, you can become one of our Patreon members and support the podcast there. Um, but yeah, uh, like I mentioned before, we're going to close today's date and time. Uh, we're going to open a new one next week, uh, or the next time we record. Uh, I won't guarantee it's next week. I, like I said, I'm moving jobs, so it might be a, a bit of time before we do the official next episode. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been great uh, speaking to you guys. Uh, we will also be bringing people on, some new faces, some more faces. It's not just going to be us it's, two. It will not just be us two, um, because <laughs> yeah, we, we, yeah, everyone has their different dating experiences. Um, no matter how hilarious we are. Yes. <laughs> uh, we, we know that like, honestly like I'm telling you we, we we may need to do a whole episode about embarrassing like I I have some I know a plethora of embarrassing stories yeah um, but yeah we might need to do a whole just know. like a uh, just a, we're gonna be real with you we're episode. Be real with you episode. <laughs> I feel like, uh, yeah, I feel like that might be needed. But, um, Special episode. <laughs> but yeah, um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, and um, yeah, we'll see you the next time when we open the new dating diary. So uh, that's bye from us here, and take care.